there's sometimes times in my life where I felt led in a certain direction or led to do something and it didn't make sense and it seemed like there was a focus shift but all in all I think when I look back it brings you to um the main purpose and you realize that later like in retrospect you look back and you think oh there was a purpose in that as well there was something I gained or knowledge that I acquired or there was an experience that needed to be had and so I really appreciate uh, I really appreciate that and I think it is always this uh tension of you know some, I think too often we want to step we want to be unique but we also want to step in a track that's already been laid right because that would just make it so much easier for us to walk but when we can step out and be um, on a track that's never been laid and we become more aware of that vision that's leading us and allow the vision, um, you know, sometimes we may see with our eyes, sometimes we may just feel it, sometimes we may just experience it in our body, but allowing that to lead us, it will take us to uncharted territory. Um, and that's where unique strengths really come in. And so this, I was, the call I was on this morning with that lady talking about how to brand, you know, how to find your brand and how to brand yourself successfully. And she mentioned um, something about, there was something in the materials actually that mentioned that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that do what you want to do. There's already for every single job and every single career, there's already people out there that are doing what you want to do. So to stand apart and to be different and unique, you've got to really lean into that uniqueness and not expect that people have, a, you know, every single step laid out for you in terms of branding yourself and that it's going to be just, you know, this crystal clear clarity on every single detail about it or that even as you're working through, what does my vision look like? What does it look like to serve other people? What does my calling look like in actual practice? Just allow yourself, I suppose, and, and I feel like I'm having a pep talk with myself to just allow myself to be more uh, flexible and more leaning into that vision rather than expecting the answers to come from somewhere else, but really tuning in to understand the difference and the uniqueness that I bring because that ultimately is what will sell the brand and what will sell you um, and, and the vision that people will want to be a part of. Um, because when there's someone else and there's lots of people out there that already do what you want to do, then you've got to find that thing that sets you apart. And I really appreciate that, you know, once that young ruler took over from his father, he wasn't there. Um, and while I think that in the story, it highlights his um, desire to really continue the legacy that the father left. It also shows that he was really in tune with what he could bring, what he could contribute, what was his unique gifting and where was the calling now taking him. Um, and so I really appreciate that. And I think it's, it's about, you know, the perspective we have around allowing ourselves to be open-minded, to be fully present with that, which is calling to us because we all have a purpose. We all have a reason for being and how we serve others will look differently to each one of us. And 